So Kick-Ass, guys. Awesome movie. Loved it. Um, I mean, tell me a little bit about each of your guys' characters. I play uh, Dave Lazuski, who's this ordinary kid who's um, in the comic books and, um, you know, his best friend's Marty. You play Marty, right? Marty, yeah. He plays Marty. 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 Right, right. Oh, right, right. Yeah, 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 and right. Then, then, Will, well, my character, he likes, really <laughs> likes, tries to be... He's a chimney sweep, he is! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, he doesn't really fit into any sort of group and he's invisible to girls, so he kind of creates this different persona, which is kick-ass, and kind of goes out and gets his ass whipped uh, by these two vigilantes who kind of show him the ropes. But, um, yeah, he's kind of, you know, he's just trying to look for an escape route, really, and trying to sort of go on a path of trying to grow. So everyone's talking about Hit Girl. I mean, what is, what is it about Hit Girl? I mean, how is it working with Chloe? Uh, wicked, you know, she's a really cool girl. Um, wise beyond her years. So totally talented. Sure. Talented. She's she's, uh, she's young, young Jodie Foster, you know, like she's like Natalie Portman. Uh, Natalie yeah, and the Portman. professional. Yeah, I mean, she it's it, she really is astonishing in the film. Like, it, uh, yeah, it mean, boggles the mind to see like a twelve year old be uh, as self assured and talented and uh, all the physical, <laughs> yeah. the physical stuff. She like, put a lot of hard work into it. Yeah, yeah I, I would say she probably worked harder than anybody besides you. Yeah, like, no harder. So you guys, uh, you guys got to you know work with uh, you know Nicolas Cage. He's done so many movies. I mean, how was he on set? I mean, you know, okay. he's a huge comic book fan, and, and it was his passion uh, to 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 do this. And um, so we was very kind of lucky to have that. And uh, he gives it a sort of Adam West impersonation. Yeah, and, he's uh, so great in the movie. You know the whole like a kind of spoof on like Batman, who has like you know bits on that like really like mm -hmm. hardcore voice. So he does it. He does a sort of little kind Adam West thing. He takes the piss. So. Um, it, Kind of just he gives a fantastic the personality to the film, so we're we're lucky for that. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's always tough making uh, you know comic books into a movie. Um, us being at WonderCon, uh -huh. you, know, you know, there's all these fanboys there. I mean, does I mean, do you guys think Kickass li lives up to its hype? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's um, you know, it's great when the comic book fans you know give it that uh, much uh, enthusiasm and. Um, and you know those those are the real sort of true true fans and uh, and it does it, it, it kind of uh, it's, it's, how would you say succeed it exceeds the I, the I think it exceeds expectations yeah. I really do because it's it's the rare occurrence where there is a lot of hype but the movie is great and, and it's one of those things we got to see it to believe it man so uh, so go out and see it yeah it's more like reality it's more like the real the what could really happen I mean these guys are huge comic book fans so they they kind of like brainwashed in that so they kind of go out naively trying to fight people and not expecting the consequences so when they do get hit or stabbed and that they could die yeah. so it's kind of like heightened and the fact that these we really are those ages like 17 and that and mm -hmm. hit girls 11 mm -hmm. and then spider-man they were what 30 and they're like pretending <laughs> to be in college so <laughs> like you know we really yeah. are kind of giving it that sort of essence to it and, and kind of making it real so and uh you know that they play on special moments like you know, from all comic book movies and stuff, because that's what their life is and that's what yeah. they know. So they put a little it's twist on it. It's kind of toying it. with the the, yeah, the, yeah. the tropes of the genre. Yeah. You know, so um, messing with expectations. Yeah.